Hello folks, this is Robert speaking. I'm going to take a quick stab at uh, some beginner's tutorials for using Muse. Muse, as you know, is an audio and MIDI sequencer that is available for Linux. And uh, first, Muse can be run uh, as a MIDI-only sequencer without audio, in which case you, you start it with minus A. Or you start it like this, and then you need jack running. And we have it here in this terminal. So I leave it like that, and I start it. Now I'm going to show you how, how to create an internal soft synthesizer and connect an external MIDI keyboard to play that soft synthesizer. So we begin by going to the settings menu and MIDI ports and soft synths. And uh, I generally pick a port away down here and I click the device name. This one, XP MIDI Mate MIDI 1, that's my external MIDI interface connected to my external keyboard. So I select that one, so now it's connected. Down here, there's a whole bunch of soft synths that I have on my system. Uh, but I'm not going to use that for the moment. I'm going to use the new way to instantiate uh, a soft synth. I select, I right click here in the track pane and I select mess and we're going to instantiate the fluid synth synthesizer like that. And now we right click here to open the GUI for fluid synth. Fluid Synth is a sound font player, and we're going to load a sound font here. I have one right here. Fluid R3 GM. Notice that this fluid has nothing to do with Fluid Synth. They just happen to have the same name. We load it. We can load several sound fonts here. Uh, to make them have sound, you have to connect them to a MIDI channel. So we click here, which uh, sound font should have this channel. So we select and just for fun, we can use have that one too. Okay, now we have the fluid synth synthesizer created. Over here, we have the track info. And uh, uh, this will be easier to understand if we create the MIDI track too. I right click he again here on the track pane and add a MIDI track. The track info changed. We have different kinds of track info. Uh, this is The MIDI track has a lot of settings for uh, a MIDI track, including, you notice here too, that this it's already connected to the fluid synth. So if I click here on the unknown button, we can select which sound from this sound font that should be used. So we can just harpsichord. I never use a harpsichord. We can use it now. Uh, and there's a whole lot of other stuff here, the volume and uh, things. Uh, we go back to the fluid synth. This has settings more similar to an audio channel, since the output of the synthesizer is audio. The output track has the same. From here we can set volume, we can set panning, and we can mute it. Notice that there's a mute icon there too. Uh, we don't want to mute it right now. We can select uh, the output routing. There's no input routing for soft synths, at least not right now. Uh, for output, we have only one possible right now, and that's the output track. The output put is the one that leaves Muse. We can remove this one. I right click. Uh, but uh, then we have to create another one to have sound outside Muse. We can check the output route of this one. It's connected to the playback of my sound card. And okay. Let's, um, let's arm this track. We click this red button at the beginning, the record button. Now I have my external keyboard that we set up earlier. If I play on that. 
you can you hear it it makes sound and uh, perhaps you also notice there's a small red b button here that every time I use the keyboard we can see that it lights up it's an indicator that we have MIDI input from uh, from the outside into the track it's very good for finding faults in your MIDI setup which unfortunately are all too common uh, okay we have um, this tr this track is armed we can arm Muse in its entirety by clicking this button now if we press play we can start recording let's do a really silly recording now I press space space is the same as toggling toggling between stop and play it's 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 often it's much easier to use space uh, so I did a rewind and now I press space again we can listen to this amazing music I'm not a keyboard player great well that's about it for this very short beginners tutorial thank you for watching I'll do some more shortly. Bye.